Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna do a a video about questions that I've been asked. <clears throat> um, this is just a few, some kind of kind of recent, but um, some that I get I I hear more than once. Um, <clears throat> One, I was asked recently, um, I think it was more of in kind of a joking way, but uh, do you review everything you eat? Well, that was actually Dr. Dave, the beer professor, asked me that. Um, <clears throat> my answer is no. But, I mean, in case other people are wondering, because all the stuff I do review, um, I, um, <clears throat> I, I look... For content, um, and it seems how I'm a variety reviewer. Anything that is conveniently accessible, and I can, I mean, I'll review it if it's like if it's at the house, <clears throat> and I think it's something that maybe people might want to hear about. I'll review it. My dinner? Um, not every dinner. Um, not even close. It's, <clears throat> um, how do I say? Like if we eat out somewhere and I'm not going to be holding everybody up from eating their dinner, uh, I might review, um, takeout type food. Um, but my dinner's no. Um, and other stuff we get at the store. <clears throat> if there's, like recently we got um, a bag of variety candy. And um, I took like one of each. You know, I've been asked about reviewing candy. So I thought, eh, I'll review each one of these. And just give people something to look at. Maybe it'll be interesting. Um, but, yeah, I mean... I mean, videos can be, you know, from five minutes to 10 to 15 minutes. Um, they don't have to be very long to, to talk about, you know, the, the different char characteristics of a product. So, so yeah, um, I, I review all that I can. So, just to put co content out there. Um... <clears throat> How come you'd like everything you try? Isn't isn't there isn't there something you don't like? Isn't there stuff you don't like? Um, <clears throat> I am very versatile um, in this in, in products that I try, um, like beers. I, I do. There have been beers that have been some that I I don't personally like, um, but it's doesn't mean that other people won't like them. Um, and then I've had bad beers where they just went bad. <laughs> and uh, um, I have, uh, Jeremy and I, that was one of our videos that we made that we edited. Uh, we made a, a funny montage video. Y'all ought to look that up and watch it. Um, <clears throat> uh, of all the, all the beers that I've tried that... Um, that I haven't, that I didn't like. Um, and some of the descriptions were kind of funny. But it was what came to my head at the time. Um, and Jeremy put some funny music onto it. But yeah, look that up. Um, funny, uh, funny, mu funny, funny videos, montage, something like that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but I do like a lot of different kinds of stuff. Um, so, I mean, if I don't like it a whole lot, then I'll say it's not really for me, but other people will like it, and it's totally fine. Um, but, uh, okay, the other thing is, um, I just had this one time, and it's very rare that I do it, and that's belching, burping, um, and it's usually after carbonated drinks. I've had one one uh, person say that um, 
it's not it's not very attractive to see you burping all the time uh, when I I don't burp on purpose um, I'm not as bad as some <laughs> reviewers um, or other you know uh, vi uh, video creators or whatever um, I mean they'll just belch it right out loud and not even say excuse me I try I mean I try to cover mine up and and I say excuse me um, but that's just me I, I mean I, I want to be polite um, and people, you know, if I had to stop every one of my videos, um, every time I burped and then edit it, I, I, you know, or if something like that went wrong and I had to stop and then redo it, that would, I just wouldn't work for me. So hopefully, <clears throat> um, I can hide my belching as much as I can. Um, carbonated drinks is what does it, so... Um, don't you research stuff before you do reviews? Um, every once in a while, <clears throat> I will look into it a little bit to kind of see what it, maybe what it is. Um, but a lot of times I just go in, I just, uh, I just get after the review and just go in. Um, it's like if I think about it, if I try to think about it too much, it, um, <clears throat> And then it won't happen. It's just, no, that doesn't make sense. Um, if I have time, I, I do things a lot in the spur of the moment reviews. Um, like, you know, okay, um, when I do things when it's convenient for the from for my family at home. <clears throat> I don't want to make everybody be quiet, you know, while I do a review. So. If somebody is, you know, you know, taking a shower and the other person is out, you know, doing stuff in the yard, I'm in the house. I have a opportunity to do a review. Um, I'll do it then, <clears throat> but I won't have time to research things. And yeah, I could do it ahead of time. I'm just not one for researching a whole lot. Um, and and plus, I mean, I'll do the best I can with the review. But a lot of people that are watching, they will provide the information. They'll, you know, tell me about it a lot of times. And I appreciate that. Other people read other people's comments, you know, and they get a little conversation going and about it. That's cool. And then I learn something from them. So <clears throat> I don't always do my research. Um, it has caused a little bit of a problem before with uh, something that I said something about um a product being from another country and then it ended up being um i it ended up being i said it was from a certain country and it ended up being from another country and it offended some people so it does it can happen um so i try to be careful about that kind of stuff especially country wise and i'll look on the i'll look on the product if it says it's from a certain country i will tell it <clears throat> um, if it appears to be from another country, uh, a lot of times I will look it up to see where it is from so I can give the correct um, uh, origin of the product. So, um, so, no, I don't research everything, but I try to do it if it looks like it's something that should be researched for sure. I mean, that could cause problems. Um... <clears throat> Um, you, and your reviews are amateur. You don't, you obviously don't know what you're doing. Get a day job. Um, I have a day job. I am an amateur, even though I've been doing it for four years. Um, <clears throat> I didn't go to school to learn how to do reviews. I just started doing it. I found an interest and I did it. I watch some people do reviews, kind of understanding what they're, you know, what they're doing, what they're saying about a product. Um, I've not, ex like, craft beers and hops, I have not went to some place that has different hops and tried each one to, to, you know, to get a familiarity with how each hop will taste 
so that when I do when I drink a beer, I can say, yeah, I taste the you know the saws, hops. I I say that I taste the citra. Those are the citra that cit um, the citra hops. They're a little easier to find, but the, there's other ones that I just I just don't know what they are. I can say it tastes like a hoppy beer. Um, taste the hops. It's obvious that they're in there. Um, but um, and then um, <clears throat> there's basic ingredients like you know onion and garlic. You can pick those up fairly easy. Vinegar is easily picked up. Um, Tomatoey roastiness. A lot of the food products, I'm pretty familiar with those. And some of the the beverages, I can. I'm not bad at, you know, being able to know if they're in there or not just by tasting. Um, but uh, I am I am an amateur at what I do. I, I don't claim to be a professional. Um, <clears throat> by no means. I just tell you, you know, my opinion of how something tastes. If, it, if the ingredients are not on the bottle, I give my best interpretation with what is on there. I've already had somebody say, um, there is no chili powder in that um, because it said spices in the ingredients. It didn't say chili powder, but I thought I was tasting it, but it evidently was something else. So it happens that, you know, I don't get, I don't get them all right. I just, um, I try to pick up what I think is in there and then go with it. Um, <clears throat> why do you wear painter clothes all the time? Well, <clears throat> that's because um, I'm a painter. I've been a painter for um, 11 years um, for property management companies. Um, I've been a painter for four years. No, almost three years for a college. I was a painter for a restoration company for five years. Um, when I get home, <clears throat> I don't, you know, jump in the shower and, and, and change my clothes into civilian clothes <laughs> or regular clothes. I just don't. I mean, um, I do that in the evening. So, you know, when I get home, I still got my painter's clothes on and I'm I just, you know, I'll probably do my reviews with my painter's clothes on. So it's just, um, that's just the way I am. That's part of my, you know, I have painter clothes on more than I do regular clothes. So, um, let's see. Okay, well, that's about it. Um, all that I remember anyway. Answer a few questions some things that you might, um, if you have questions, ask me and I'll, I'll tell you. Um, a lot of these come with being, you know, it's, they're, they're, they're told to me a lot in ways of offending me and <clears throat> don't appreciate those, but, um, I try to answer the comments um, best I can, you know. Um, so, anyway, all right. Well, I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Um, it's kind of a little bit longer video. But, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next question video.